click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in this video we are going to see the functional diagram of ic555 in previous video we have seen the different features of ic555 where we can use ic555 what are the different applications what are the different operations that can be performed by using ic555 that we have already seen now we are going to see what kind of diagram or what kind of connection is required to get those application or to get those operations that we are going to see in this video so here we have functional diagram of ic555 so first let's see what are the components and how they are connected and then we will see one by one what is the significance of each and every one so first of all we have a two operational amplifier you can see two triangular operational amplifiers are connected which is name as a uc stands for upper comparator lc stands for lower comparator now here the upper comparator and lower comparator instead of the name operational amplifier the comparator name is used because here you can clearly see that this operational amplifiers are in open loop configuration now there is a difference in open loop and closed loop pv we have studied the difference between open loop and closed loop closed loop is called when there is a feedback path from output to input and open loop is when there is a no feedback provided so here you can clearly see that the output is no more connected to the input terminal not even inverting amplifier terminal or the non inverting amplifier terminal so it is a open loop configuration and when the op amp is in a open loop configuration it can be used as a oscillator or it can be used as an comparator so here we are using this operational amplifier as comparators that means they will compare the input voltage and according to the comparison they will produce an output and depending on the output the operation will takes place now here we have one flip flop connected that is a set reset flip flop flip flop is a memory device that means it store a bit information and then it pass the information according to the input here s stands for a set and r stands for a reset so set means your output q will be 1 and q bar will be 0 when it is a reset the q will be 0 reset that means you all know that reset the word we use sometimes we reset our mobile phone that means we come to the original position or original status of the mobile phone that is what we know as a reset that means a zero position or the initial start and the initial start is always a zero so whenever the set is there that means set is always stands for one and when it is a reset reset is always stands for a zero so you can see q if you just see the flip flop q is the output and q bar is the inversion of the output so whenever it is reset the q it is set q should be 1 and whenever it is a reset the q should be 0 that means according to the input whether input is going to set or input is going to reset the output of flip flop will vary from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 so to set the flip flop this upper comparator output should go high if this output should go high the one will go to the set it will set the flip flop and output q will be 1 correct if you want the flip flop to be reset your output of a lower comparator should go high if it is high the one will go to reset and it will reset the flip flop and q you will get is equal to 0 now how to get this set and reset condition that is completely depend on the input terminals we have over here first let's see the discharge now here we have a transistor connected at the output of the flip flop that is q is connected to the base of the transistor i'll name this transistor as a t1 you have a collector base and emitter so here if at base you are getting the input as a 1 then this transistor will turn on and if you are getting q is equal to 0 then base is getting 0 then this transistor will be in a off condition now this is connected the collector of transistor is connected to the discharge pin now discharge pin will have the capacitor connected when it can be used as a multi vibrator when we will go for the operation or the specific application at that time this discharge will be connected to the capacitor so the accordingly turning on and 
turning off of the transistor will make the capacitor either charge or discharge whenever it will be off it will charge the capacitor whenever it will be on it will discharge the capacitor that is about transistor now let's come to the input side now the name is given triple five because you can see we have a three different resistors connected with 5 kilo ohm resistance value so this triple five one two three so basically this resistance will decide the reference voltage for the upper comparator and lower comparator as i said the operation is completely depending on the output and output is depending on the set and reset condition and this set and reset condition can be set by using the output of a upper comparator and output of a lower comparator that output of a upper comparator and lower comparator is completely depend on their input input comparison is takes place with respect to the reference voltage set by the three resistance of 5 kilo ohm since they are having the value of a 5 kilo ohm the ic is named as triple five timer so here let's see what are the different input terminal First of all, the negative terminal that is the inverting terminal of an upper comparator is connected to the two-third of VCC. The VCC is applied through the resistances. So here at the inverting terminal at this point, you will have the voltage equal to two-third of VCC. Then at the non-inverting terminal of a lower comparator, you have a voltage is equal to one-third of VCC. Now, whenever if you want the lower comparator output should go high, there is a one more input given to lower comparator that is a trigger input, pin number two. So, if pin number two or the inverting terminal voltage goes less than one-third of VCC, if trigger is less than one third of VCC then lower comparator output will go high which will reset my flip-flop and this transistor will be turned off that is the operation of a lower comparator now next if you want upper comparator output should go high here you can see non-inverting terminal is connected to the threshold so if the threshold voltage that is a pin number six voltage go beyond two third of VCC v6 go beyond two third of vcc then the upper comparator output will go high and this upper comparator output will set the flip-flop and if flip-flop is a set q will be one and this will turn on the transistor so this is about the block diagram so according to the upper comparator and lower comparator output you can change the position of a flip-flop from one to zero and zero to one that will make a transistor to be on and off and according to the transistor on and off the on time and off time can be vary accordingly that is what you are setting the time so here every point is denoted by a different number this different number stands for a ic pin number because this ic triple five is available in a pin configuration so it has a different pin so that pin diagram we will see in the next video you just remember the function block diagram then it will be easy to remember the pin numbers for each and every component thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekeda do subscribe ekeda thank you so much